All right, guys, I'm still in Sarah Resort, and uh, the thing that I'm going to talk about today, which I think is very apt, is that, like, in our country, if you think about career, then there are two types of career options that people choose to, like, in a very broad category, in a broad stroke. Uh, one is you can either be a businessman, an entrepreneur, or you can do a job. You can be a private service holder, or you can be a government employee. Well, you know, and that's how most people sort of categorize people's career. Are you doing a business or are you doing a job? Now, there are, of course, parts of both and there are, of course, cons of both. Okay, but uh, if, if, if you look at a very broad look at the situation in our country, the general idea is that uh, job holders, people are doing jobs, are better off than businessmen or are, are better than or they are or they are much more solid and much more stable uh, than businessmen. And that is because when you do a job, there is a certain income that you can bring home. Now, that income might not be much, but to a lot of people, especially older folks, people who are conservative type, they think that, you know what, if you have a small amount of money, you're still bringing it home, all right? You have nothing to lose. But on the other hand, in business, because you're taking risks, because as an entrepreneur, you have to bet on something sometimes, you can lose out, okay? That is very common. But when you do not lose out, that is when you win, all right, and when you execute the perfect business deal, you earn a lot more than perhaps what an ordinary or an average, uh, you know, uh, job-seeking person does. So, th so this kind of conundrum is there. Now, of course, I am as entrepreneur, I have never really done jobs. I might have done like uh, maybe one, two months in jobs, and I was never really happy. So, I think that when it comes to the question of, uh, it's a personal uh, belief, by the way. I think that when it comes to the question of whether you want to be an entrepreneur or whether you want to do jobs is listen to your heart and don't listen to the people around you, you know, because of course everyone has your opinion. Like if I'm like if I was born in a business um, family, I am born in a business family, but still uh, trying to speak objectively. If you're born in a business family, your folks, everyone around you will tell you to enter business or they'll tell you to enter your dad's business, your family business, because they know it's profitable. And if you're in a in a, in a family that has done jobs, like government jobs and those kind of jobs, they'll tell you that, you know what, forget business, you're going to make loss, don't, you know, that you're not ready for this, you need a comfortable life, uh, you know, uh, like join a service or join something, right? So, uh, it really comes down to how people around you uh, pressurize you or try to mold you, which I think compels a lot of people to choose one or the other. But I'm telling you that what you need to do is you need to listen to your heart and listen to yourself and listen to what you want to do. All right, you might, you, you, might, you might as well come from a business family, but if you think that you want to do a job, if you find that part, that the, 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 the responsibilities of a job and very appealing, and if you don't want to take risk, you know, because you're a risk averse person, because there are people like that, then definitely do a job, all right? Do forget about the money, because the money is not going to make you happy. Doing what you want to do is going to make you happy. Or if you are from like a family that's very conservative and that, that's, you know, that's asking you to do a job, but you know that you have it in you to take risks and you know what and, and to earn big and uh, and do something like do your own thing then definitely do it you know don't listen to people or don't listen to you know folks telling you that you know, you're gonna make loss and you know blah 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 because you know what you're not gonna make loss okay you might lose some money but if you earn the satisfaction of doing something what you love to do then that is money itself so do not just count money in terms of how much hard cash you have in your pocket, but count values in terms of how much satisfaction you get from doing something that you love. And, and I think that when you put that in the equation, the whole, uh, the, the whole dynamics changes, all right? The first thing for anything that you do in life is to listen to your heart, all right? So business, job, whatever, listen to your heart and then go for it and stick at it, all right? I'm going to talk about sticking with a business plan or a job like uh, later, perhaps I'm going to address it later, but for now, the idea is listen to your heart.